This hey, is Tika, a girl, a Pomeranian Chihuahua, and an important part of this Edmonds family. Tika, yeah, it's our daughter's Make-A-Wish dog. Fernet Idy's daughter Karina asked for Tika. Karina passed away in 2014. Uh, she said, well, I know some kids want to go to Disneyland for Make-A-Wish. We'll have Tika forever. So, <laughs> you know, it was our responsibility to take good care of her. Fernet says at the end of last year, Tika got really sick. She was barely getting up. She wasn't running around. I mean, her activity level was low and I mean, it was clearly looked like she could die that weekend. Tika had an unquenching thirst. She would just sit there and drink and drink and drink and then she would just wet the pee pads. Lab reports showed abnormally high levels of thyroid hormones. Fernet reported the Milo's Kitchen dog treats to the FDA and gave them opened and unopened bags of the dog treats. And when the recall came out this weekend, the lot number matched. Yeah, same lot and everything. We got them from just our neighborhood Albertson store, so it was a shock. Some of the more benign signs like increased uh, urination and thirst. Rafaela Corsi is a vet at the Veterinary Specialty Center of Seattle. She says spotting signs like unusual thirst, urination, and panting are vital. Things that are less obvious like a um, heart, increased heart rate, which is potentially life-threatening, um, need to be checked out. Stay. Good girl. Here you go. Fernet, with new dog treats in hand, says she wants to warn other dog owners to keep their furry family members safe. In Edmonds, Ryan Takeo, King 5 News.